Well, today we're looking at another story in our Bible reading about uh, David's life. And in chapter 19 and 20 of 1 Samuel, we have the story of David and Saul's son, Jonathan, and daughter, Michael. And David was married to Michael. And we see how their father, Saul, in his wicked attempt to destroy David, uh, really puts the loyalty of his son and his daughter uh, to her uh, husband and to a best friend. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very powerful, poignant story. But you see in the midst of all this that uh, Jonathan was a friend and uh, Michael was a loyal wife in the fact that they uh, see to it that David's life is spared. Let me just read 19.1 to you, 1 Samuel. Now Saul spoke to, to Jonathan, to his son, and to all of his servants that they should kill David. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted greatly in David. His loyalty was to his friend. But ultimately, the loyalty of both Jonathan and Michael was to God because they recognized that uh, it was God who had selected David to be the next king of Israel. And uh, they recognized that the, the failings of, uh, of Saul has led to this, this change of leadership, this change of dynasty, if you will. You know, our loyalty is important. People who are loyal to us, we value greatly. And we seek to be a loyal friend. But our first loyalty and our greatest loyalty needs to be to our God. Uh, can God count on us to show up for uh, what we need to do for him? Uh, are we uh, loyal and, and faithful to show up when there's times of worship, when his church gathers together? Are we faithful to uh, stand for him when everybody else and around us, maybe in a work or school or community situation, has a different view of our Lord? Uh, God expects and uh, God deserves our loyalty. I want to encourage you to think about that today and just evaluate uh, your own loyalty to the Lord. And, and maybe stop and also give thanks to the fact that uh, his love toward us is also loyal. He never lets us down. He never gives up on us. He loves us with that kind of eternal love. Hope those thoughts are encouraging to you today. And uh, trust you'll have a great day walking with God, loving him, and loyally serving him.